in a fantasy world with horrible monsters, deep dark dungeons, and magical spells, what if you found escape to a world without any of that? What if you no longer have to hunt or gather, just go to a shop and order the most mouth-watering food you have ever tasted? What if you decide to stay and enjoy the good life free from combat and physical expenditure? What if you discover that waifus with muffin tops are hot? Hello everyone, and what I have for you is a comedy manga that's as funny as the waifus are thick. I'm talking about none other than Plus Sized Elf. You, yes you, the viewer, if you're like most people, you have a goal in life. Be it to finish school, help your family, gain a waifu, become a waifu, start a company, destroy a company, or even gaining your ideal body type. Whatever it may be, it's something that you are willing to fight for, throwing all that you got to obtain this goal. But what if all you have just isn't enough? Well, you can always rely on the people who are close to you to help and support you because you can do anything through determination and the power of friendship. Plus Size Elf is a manga written by Synecdoche and is a story that has both of those things along with a healthy dose of bulging body blubber in the best way possible. This reverse isekai slice of life follows a young man and his potato-loving elf client and their wonderful misadventures battling the perpetual menace that relentlessly shadows them, the ever-expanding waistline. Tomoatsu Naoe is your everyday physical therapist, just spending his days helping people reach their health goals and being flirted with by his boss. But one day, a mysterious person enters their clinic looking like she's ready to rob the place. As she is instructed to take off her glasses and mask, Naoe is greeted with a pretty girl and a cute smile. She isn't there to rob the place, but she is there because she is desperate and needs a master to teach her the art of weight loss. Throughout the physical exam, we can see that Naoe isn't like most protagonists because he was able to deduce given the facts. She has long ears is from a place called Kafua the Northern Forest, is 200 years old, and her name is Erufada, which translates to is an elf. At this point, she should really show that she's just an elf, which she does, Jojo post and all. Here, she not only tells Naoe why she's in his clinic, but also why she can't go home. Here, they reveal that this manga isn't just another reverse slice of life, but is also a rom-com. A rom-com not between Nao and Erufada, but between Erufada and French fries. Her true love and greatest treasure is the reason she cannot go back to her world, because the doorway to the other world can only work when you have the same weight as what you had when you first went through. Given this revelation, Naoe sympathizes with her plight and tells her that he can definitely help her reach her goal through the use of a balanced diet, moderate exercise, and seitai, which is a type of bodywork therapy. Erufada will be able to reach her goal and after a month of determination, will, and crying over the lack of french fries, Erufada finally reaches her goal. And she is now ready to go back to her homeworld, but not before saying goodbye to the man who not only helped her, but guided her through the path. But also to have one less order of french fries. But either because she's the main character or because of straight up addiction, she rides the slippery slope of golden delicious goodness to once again become pudgier than a marshmallow in a pillow fight. All this in just the opening chapter. We laughed, learned life lessons, and a sprinkle of Jojo. It's like a manga unleashed a creativity bomb, leaving us both amazed and slightly questioning our lifestyle choices more than when 300 got released. But here's the kicker. This isn't just about the absurdity and the giggles. It's a subtle reminder that while setting your mind to something can work wonders, 
you cannot conquer every quest solo. Life's a co-op game, and sometimes you just need a trusty sidekick to help you navigate through the levels. It's really inspirational if you think about it. We all face those moments where no matter how hard we grind, art and Jesus just isn't on our side. But when you realize the importance of having that one friend who's got your back, ready to drop you some wisdom and guidance when things get tough, it's like having a buddy system for the crazy ride that is life. In the manga, we encounter various waifus seeking Master Naoe's guidance. Some actively seeking him out, and others stubbing onto him, and of course, the few who are reluctantly accepting his help. There's even a bunch who are blissfully unaware of the imminent danger they are facing. Now you might think, Oh, just another harem manga with another self-insert? But let's spice things up and view it from the lens of an MMORPG. Think of it like a quest hub where everyone needs a hand in their journey. Naoe isn't there to do things for you, but to help and guide you. He is the co-op player ready to assist in tackling bosses, safeguarding villages, and helping them breeze through the tutorial. We even later see some unlikely pairings show up, characters who hang out not only because they are friends, but also to guide and support each other. That or to compete on who is chubbier. You know you're in for a wild ride when the elf in plus size elf is basically a living breathing dad bod meme. But don't let the premise fool you because this manga is more than just quirky character designs and laughs. In each chapter of the manga, the author somehow manages to fix in hilarious comedy, wholesome fun moments, educational lessons on how to take care of yourself, and of course, some cultured degenerate fan service. The creator Synecdoche does a fantastic job in weaving in some life lessons on healthcare, wholesome moments, and even tackling real-world issues like body image and self-acceptance. It's like someone took a slice-of-life anime and injected it with a healthy dose of fantasy and a pinch of extra pounds. In a nutshell, Plus Size Elf isn't your run-of-the-mill isekai manga. It's a tornado of comedy, heartwarming moments, life hacks, and a sprinkle of degeneracy just to spice things up. It's that kind of manga that leaves you wondering, did I really read that? And mark my words, the pull is real. You'll leave yourself wanting to come back for more. It's a roller coaster of a manga, my friends, and you'd be remiss to let it pass you by. In the grand scheme, Plus Size Elf isn't just a manga, it's a quirky life handbook on navigating the insane adventures existence throws your way. Sure, you can achieve quite a bit flying solo, but having a solid support crew? Now that's what makes a journey truly enjoyable. Because in the end, life's all about the wild ride, the laughs and the comrades who stick with you through thick and thin. Oh, and why is the title of the video Read This Manga Before It's Too Late? That is simple. The anime was announced a week ago.